Isle of Anglesey is located off the northwestern coast of Wales, close to the stunning Snowdonia mountain range. It provides spectacular scenery from altitudes of up to 3,000 feet, making Anglesey difficult to perceive as an island. The Menai Strait separates it from the mainland, and it's crossed by two picturesque bridges, the Menai Bridge and the Britannia Bridge. During the Middle Ages, Anglesey was known as the Mother of Wales because of its fertile fields. It served as the breadbasket for the north of Wales, and it's specifically known for its apple production. Anglesey is thought to be derived from a Viking place name. The EY ending denotes an island named after a specific person in Old Norse. It now has several thriving towns. The historic town of Gomeris is home to one of Edward I's castles, which he built after defeating the Welsh princes, as well as the historic mansion Henley's Hall, which is now a hotel. Holyhead on Holy Island is the main ferry port for crossing the Irish Sea to Dublin. Anglesey is also home to the village with the longest place name in all of Britain. The Church of St. Mary in a hollow of white hazel near a rapid whirlpool and near St. Cecilio's Church by the Red Cave is what the name is in English. As far as the Welsh version, I won't even try to say it. According to medieval accounts, Joseph of Arimathea, who donated his tomb in Jerusalem for Jesus' burial, traveled to Britain with Mary, the mother of Jesus. It's said that during his journey, Joseph also established a church on the island of Avalon, which many believe to be modern-day Anglesey. St. Augustine, the first Archbishop of Canterbury, declared in 597 AD that Mary's tomb had been discovered on an island off the west coast of Britain. There's a theory that Mary was buried in the city with a very long name, the Church of St. Mary in a hollow of white hazel near a rapid whirlpool and near St. Cecilio's Church by the Red Cave. This is partly based on the ancient legend of St. Cyril and Sibi, who lived on opposite sides of the island, but they would make daily pilgrimage to the village's hollowed shrine. This shrine is thought to be located near the banks of the Afona Law in the heart of Anglesey. It's also thought that her remains were moved for protection during a Viking invasion in the 10th century, but again, no definitive answer will ever be known. It is important to note, though, that the Roman Emperor Nero specifically identified Anglesey as an island that needed to be conquered. Again, it's believed to be the legendary island of Avalon. At least three Welsh lakes claim to be the home of King Arthur's magical sword Excalibur, but there is only one place where the sword is believed to have been made. And that could be Anglesey's mix of legend and reality. It was the sacred home of Celtic Druids. The native people's spiritual leaders. Many of them, if not the majority of Druids, live there. And interestingly, legend has it that Bard Sea Island, which is located right next to Anglesey, is the final resting place of Merlin the Magician, one of the most famous Druids of all time. In 1277, King Edward I invaded Wales. Ultimately, the Welsh were defeated due to the weakness of a small transitional society rather than any failure on the part of that society's leaders to understand military strategy. While an independent principality of Wales did not survive, the title of Prince of Wales did. In February 1303, Edward appropriated it and bestowed it to his son, the future Edward II. The title Prince of Wales has traditionally been bestowed upon the intended heir to the English throne. These are interesting things with J.C.